Hello YouTube and welcome to What The Math. In today's video we're going to be using a new game that I just bought called Medieval Engineers. This game has recently come out on Steam in early access and this is by the same guys that made Space Engineers, a game where you got to build spaceships, but this time you get to build castles and weapons to destroy those castles and actually one of the first weapons that you'll be building in this game is a catapult. So today I'm going to show you how to build a catapult and we're going to explore a little bit of engineering and math behind it. So let's actually create a new world. And this is the castle we're going to try to conquer with our newly created catapult that we'll be making. So uh, before we start making the catapult, let me just tell you a little bit about this game. If you don't know anything about it, basically it uses very realistic physics engine. And uh, there's basically things like gravity. And uh, if I throw this rock, it's going to roll down the hill and possibly hit something and then destroy it. And uh, if it destroys something, it will fall. Oh, okay, hit the tree, it didn't actually kill anything. Or destroy anything but if it destroys something like for example if i destroy this bridge it's going to collapse in a very realistic fashion in a very realistic real, realistic manner anyway so let's actually start with the cap catapult i'm going to go ahead and possibly construct it somewhere over here and tell you a little bit about how the catapults work and i'm going to use this platform right here to construct it and basically launch my first rock at this castle right there, hopefully hitting this tower. So let's start with our design first. The first thing you may want to do is decide what kind of a frame you're going for. Uh, there's various frames that you can use for catapults and you can actually Google catapults just to see different types of uh, actual catapults that were used throughout the history. Uh, but there's really two types that you can build in this game. There's a static type or a mobile type. Mobile type ha has the wheels and you can move it around and basically it can be placed anywhere. And the static type is a little bit simpler. It's basically uh, what I'm going to be making first by placing um, placing the timber right here. And then on top of timber you place the catch block, kind of like this. And now basically this allows me to create... Um, to create a catapult that can be rotated rotated around this axis. So I'm going to place this here and essentially this can now be rotated and spun around so I can actually aim it. Um, this can be achieved by basically placing timber inside in this way. Uh, now what else do we need? So first step is to create um, a head or basically a launcher. And something I forgot to mention, there's a little trick in this game. If you use your mouse wheel, it can actually increase the size of things that you can build. So right here, I'm actually using mouse wheel to increase the size of this timber. Uh, so anyway, so moving on, let's use uh, something called rope torsion spring. So this rope torsion spring is really the essence of catapult. So this is what stores the energy for us to release later on if we're trying to launch something using our catapult. Now the thing is, the thing about this uh, torsion theme object is that you have to make sure you place it correctly. So this right here is not the correct alignment. It has to be actually, so it has to be this way with the little thingy here pointing upwards. And as you can see now I can actually spin this around. So this is why I put the spinny thingy um, right here so that I can actually rotate my catapult. And now what we do is place the wooden block right here and the length of this block would determine how far your projectile will fly so if you make this really long um it will or basically you have to find the right balance but if you make this really long it will most likely fly much farther away um so here this will be our launcher and usually having this at approximately 8 to 10 tiles is good enough for it to fly quite far away and this actually can be a pretty awesome investigation where you decide to uh, make this different length and to see how how uh, your projectiles will fly differently depending on the length of your arm. Um, don't forget you can also fly in this game in the sandbox mode by pressing X and this is useful for when you're building things. So now we just need to place the, the actual head. I gotta put a head right here and I believe... That's actually the wrong way. It has to be the other direction. So it has to be facing down. I think it has to face down. And that's our first component. This is our launcher. So now we need our second component, which would be the winder. Basically, the thingy that will have the rope uh, attached to and that you will use to wind that rope. So to do this, let's place one more tile right here. And one more. Maybe over here. It doesn't have to be that long, actually. At the end of this, we're going to attach 
uh, a lock catch block. So this is a slightly different rotation block that allows me to lock my things in position. And here, I'm going to place one more wooden block at the end of it, actually, a wooden block that's about two tiles long. And at the end of this block, you're going to place, uh, you're going to place the rope drum, basically the actual rope. So place the rope drum here and try to make it aligned with the arm so that it's, it's a little bit more balanced and a little bit more robust. So this here is almost finished. We just need to attach a wheel here so that we can actually wind. So take the turn wheel and put it at the end of the uh, this part. And that's really it. So this essentially is a fully functional catapult and we can test this by doing the following. Press the T button. Actually, let me just remove this. Press the T button to attach the rope and then, oh, I forgot one part. I forgot to actually, I forgot to attach the, uh, uh, this. I forgot to put rope ending. Rope ending is basically where you attach your rope and this is, this goes onto your, um, your catapult head. So now we do this. We put, uh, click T here and then click T right here to attach the rope and this creates a catapult. So what you do next is you wind the catapult or you wind the wheel by pressing T. If it doesn't work, it's because you're spinning it the wrong way. To spin the opposite direction, you have to click on shift and then press T again. So shift and T will wind your catapult head and it's running away from me. Uh, it, it will wind it and you can then use it to launch projectiles. Now it doesn't actually go very far, it, it kind of stops here, but you can uh, change this by adjusting the angle of this particular piece uh, later on. If you're actually going for a different design, you can make this go even lower. And now this is almost finished. Now there's one thing missing and I'll show you what's missing in a second uh, when I show you why we need one more, more, one more piece for this catapult. So here, if I place my projectile, And if I then try to align this with the tower or with my castle. So that looks pretty aligned. So you'll see what the problem is. Uh, to release the actual projectile, you press T here, cut the rope and all right. So you hit something and what flew somewhere over there. But here's the problem. It actually does not fly very far because this stops in, in this position. So we need to make another part here. We need to actually attach something called a stopper. And this, if you ever look at the old pictures of old catapults, they all had the stopper at a specific angle. I actually, um, I'll show you what I mean by this when I rewind this and I'll show you what the stopper does. The stopper is really simply a thingy that stops your arm from going too far. Why? Well, if it goes too far, you'll be basically launching your projectile downwards. So you're, you'll be hitting the ground in front of you. Uh, if, however, you have something to stop it from going too far, like for example, if you place it so that uh, this arm part stops at 45 degree angle or closer to 45 degree, you will then be launching your projectiles much, much, much farther away. Now, you need to make sure that you place this uh, alongside this this bar here so that it actually they hit each other because otherwise it'll, it'll go through it uh, there's a slight bu bug in the game where it actually sometimes goes through goes through your stopper and doesn't actually stop at all so let's tr just try this again so I'm gonna place my projectile and fire at will and there you go it just hit the roof again and as you can see it stopped right here so this is as close to an actual catapult as possible. Now there's really one part missing and that's the wheels and if you want to attach the wheels all you do is you go in here and you look for the wheels and all you do now is you basically attach the wheel and ta-da! So this you need to at attach three more and you get a functional moving uh, catapult that you can move around and shoot things with. Um, I do prefer to have st uh, static uh, devices at first because I just like to experiment with various angles and various um, length of my arm. But this is really it. This is how you make a really simple catapult that can launch projectiles and make holes in roofs. Oh yeah, look at that. I made a few holes here. Um, and that's, that's it. So I'm going to pause this here and in the next video we're going to take a look at a few more devices such as, uh, for example, trebuchet, which is a, another excellent launching uh, device of death that they've used in the medi medieval ages to break into castles.
And that's really it. That's how you make a catapult. So there's really three parts that you need with optional fourth part being the wheels. But the first part is right here. And this is called, um, this is the part right here called rope torsion spring. So this provides torsion and stores energy for the arm. Uh, then you have this winding mechanism with the rope at the end. And finally you have the stopper, which is uh, to prevent your projectile from going downwards. And that's really it. This is how you make a simple catapult with med in medieval engineers. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and game you later. Bye bye.